case may be. I am Christine E. Schultz, aka the Elvish author, author of young adult fantasy who also likes to react to fantastical things. And honestly, I'm not going to talk too much because it's The Legend of Korra and we only have two episodes left and I'm watching episode 11 today. In real time, I just watched episode 10. So much happened. We finally saw a connection to Zuko. I believe that's probably going to be his son. Lin made just the most ultimate heroic sacrifice and then got her bending taken taken away. You know, Korra and the gang are in hiding. Tenzin and his family escaped but at a great cost to Lin and to Tenzin personally because you know Tenzin still has a great love for her. And, you know, still cares for her. I mean, not, like, romantically. Like, obviously, he's with his wife now. But, you know, when you've had that past love, you never stop really caring about that person. Maybe unless things ended, like, really badly. Like, or, you know, an abusive relationship, something like that. But if you've had, like, a good relationship with somebody, that love does not grow away. It changes. You know, it turns into something else. Like I said, he still cares for her deeply. And they still have a friendship. But, like, seeing her make that sacrifice and then, you know, watching her get captured and he doesn't know but he can imagine that maybe she's lost her bending at this point. Like, that's that's hard. Like, Tenzin's been through a lot. Pema? What a, what a woman having a baby and then hopping on a, on a, on a hair bison, like, two seconds later. I don't think that woman got a change of clothes. I don't think she got a bed. I don't think she got anything. I Give her some food. Give her something. Um, but, uh. Even the children jumping into the rescue, you know, and defending Lynn right before she defended them and then got captured. It's too emotional, guys. We can't talk about it. We gotta watch the next episode. So if you're new here, subscribe so you know when new videos come out, uh, if you want to, of course. And feel free to drop a like to help others find the video and drop a nice spoiler comment below. Also, feel free to check out my, um, <laughs> my links. I can't say words. It's really too much of an emotional time. Feel free to check out my links to my social media below, including links to where to find the books that I've written, if that's something you're interested in. On that note, let's strap on our elf ears, pop in our elf eyes, and watch some more Legend of Korra. It just can't get even more emotional, guys. Skeletons in the closet. Does that mean we get to get, like, some backstory stuff? Oh, my, they've taken the town. Amon has torn down the tyrannical bending. Yeah, and now you're your own kind of tyrants. And he has the Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Our great leader has a vision for so the future. So your one day soon, bending will no daughter longer exist, is just gonna be the most disappointed. Gosh, I wonder if I wonder if Mr. Sado. I always forget if it's Sado or Sado, so you know, you know, correct me. It's fine. Um, Mr. Maybe Mr. Sado makes more sense. But Mr. Sato and Asami, I wonder if they're going to have to have like some final moment with each other, you know? The United Forces are on their way right Heck now. yeah, they are! That dream. Just so... Oh. Oh, are these, uh... Are these Korra and... Can you believe, Hiroshi? The Avatar's on the run. I'm not running from anyone. Korra. Let's go back up there. Don't let your arrogance get in the way, darling. Item. Relax. General Iroh's coming with an entire That's fleet right, of That's right, he is. Oh, General Mon, that was such a good reveal, though. We've wait, I've waited so long to hear anything about Zuko or his family, so. We were gone a while. Welcome back. Hope you worked up an appetite. Who's this? Who's this guy? Served. This guy seems lovely. Thanks so much for letting us hide out with you the past few days. We figured out how to harmoniously coexist. <laughs> you are a wise and. Is this the same hobo from before? I don't remember. Mm. I called it from the. No, we don't need to know. We don't need to know that. To offer. Asami especially does not need to know that. A few months ago, I was in the South Pole practicing for my firebending test. We didn't even know each other then. And now, I can't imagine my life. In what way, Mako? You're the most loyal, brave, and selfless person I've ever known. I should probably try to get yeah, some Yeah, Mako, you have a girlfriend. Can you Good figure this out? Good night. Can you figure this out, please? Okay, who's this poor person? You will now be glad oh my goodness. Aman, how are you doing this, bro? He has such a with like a touch. Next. Like how? How does he do this? Oh my goodness, all these poor people. He's like stripped away of like one of the things that makes them you know, that's inherent to who they are. Like I know they're more than that, like they're still people, but like that's just so it's such an innate part of them. It'd be like if somebody came around and just like somehow took away my ability to write books, you know? Like, yeah, that's 
Not all that I am, but it would be, be very tragic. Any way we can. They're here. <gasps> Let's see more of Iroh the Second. Amon had to know we were coming. So why aren't we meeting any resistance? It's so weird that he has the same voice. Only because this guy looks older. Not that some guys don't have a little or uh, you know a higher pitched voice. But... Airships. I don't see any men. Yeah, they're plotting something. Oh, you better not blow up my Iro, okay? Oh my goodness. Can they travel underwater? Oh. Something's not. Yeah, right. bro. Sky, air raid? Guitar. Uh, I always call it guitar. Core, get out of the water, darling. Oh my goodness. This has been the most intense season. Where does Hiroshi find the time to keep inventing <laughs> new evil machines? But again, just the real realisticness of this and like the horrors of war and one party thinking they're they're doing the right thing and ending tyranny when in fact they are themselves tyrants. Like it's a very realistic scenario. Oh my goodness, crap! Yeah, cause the core is not a good time to be in the water. It's a horrible time to be in the water. Okay, we got some shots in at least. I want to know who, uh, who Zuko got married to. Did he get with mine? You know? Probably. Probably. I know it's not an important question right now, but there's a lot going on, so. Get him, get him, get him! Ooh! Shite! Uh, Cora, are you down there? You want to get this guy? That would be fantastic. Oh, that. Ooh, that, that. I know it's animated, but it still makes me feel, ooh, <laughs> that, that arm wound, though. This is so, so weird that he has Vico's voice. I can't. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. I'm just liking myself. But not these new high-speed aircraft. I yeah, mean, same. Every time we think we have an advantage, Amon outsmarts us. A second wave of reinforcements is okay. on the way. That's, that's smart. To warn them. And who is the recipient? <laughs> of <the top laughs> this guy. Message? Commander Bowie. Commander Bowie. <laughs> yeah, all right. Tenzin's brother. Yes. Tenzin's brother. But the bravest Bit of a wild man, Tenzin's brother. All right. And destroyed by equalist aircraft. Do not approach city until you receive the all clear. This is so cool. The connections of the different characters. Now comes the hard part. We need to ground those aircraft. Otherwise, Fumi's fleet will never be able to retake the city. It's time to take down my father. Yeah. How you feel about that, Asami? I'm sick and tired of hiding from Amon. It's time I this might not be. That's not a good this might not be wise. We need to stick together, Cora. This is not a mission you should be handling alone. She won't be. Oh, Cora. that seals it. You don't. You in love with her, it. whether you know yes, or not, okay? I do. Would you please talk? To My grandfather would respect the Avatar's instinct. Grandfather. Hmm. I wonder if. Grandfather. I wonder if Zuko just. I wonder if that. I wonder if Uncle Iroh was like a grandfather to him. Like I said, this has to be Zuko's son, right? So I wonder if he kind of grew up with Uncle Iroh being a grandfather to him instead of, you know, uncle. Asami, Mako, you guys gotta settle. Cora, you guys might not see each other again. He's a nasty dude. Be careful. Asami. I'm sorry things got so messed up between us. But whatever happens today, I want you to know how much I care about you. Oh, I don't know about you too. I mean, that was nice. He sent her off with like some some words of reassurance. Success to you, valiant heroes. The music is so good. <laughs> the emotional impact of music so good in this show. What are you two doing here? Yeah, say, y'all gonna get caught. Unless Amon's gonna be at the rally, I mean. We're not alone up here. Harlock? <laughs> at the same time. I don't suppose you're here to Oh my goodness, he's still here being interesting. He had no idea you were here. And what makes you so special? 
I'm the heck? Brother. The plot thickens again? Is that, is that the skeleton in the closet? Okay, 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 okay. So, so let's think about what we know about Tarlock. Tarlock is the son of that one guy. He was also a bloodbender. I think he was also a politician. Crap, I wish I remember more, paid more attention to that episode. Oh, but then the, these two against each other the whole time? Amon and Tarlock being brothers. Tarlock being a bender. Amon having seen bad things at the hand of... I don't know, this just got really even more interesting than it already was. Ugh. Amon is from the Northern Water Tribe. He's a waterbender and a bloodbender. Is he? Just like I was. What? That's fascinating. Did you know this all along? No, not until... How do you know he's telling the truth in it? Amon was the firstborn under the name Noatok. I was born three years later. Noatok and Tarlok, Noatok okay. Noatok was a good-natured kid. You better shape up or you'll be out here in the cold all night until you mm. get it right. I'm trying. I mean... Try harder. Your brother was never... This guy tried to start a new life, but he's still got the same issues. He just needs time. My brother wanted everyone to be treated fairly and deep. Okay, deep-rooted. When I was seven... If misplaced now. My took me and Noah talk on a hunting trip. What's blood bending? The most powerful and feared form of bending in the world. It was declared illegal thanks to that coward. Okay, let's not talk about her. Our family has the strongest line of bloodbenders in history. You must avenge me. That is your purpose. Okay, you don't just get to like the good dole news. out purposes like that, sir, but all right. You're hurting it. Toughen up, Tarlock. You'll need a thicker mm. skin. For Tarlock used to be kind of a sweet kid. And you kind of ruined it out of him. Mastering my father's psychic bloodbending technique by the time he was 14. Okay, but how can you take away bending? Can we get to that part, Tarlock? Can you tell us that part? That's the way that image done. of like the wolves That's bowing down to him. To strive for. He carried the burden of all Yakon's expectations and demands. That's interesting how they're brothers and they're like both trying to take over the city like in their own ways. You know what I mean? The loving brother I once knew became cold. And that detached. unfortunately happens. Dealing with, I mean, the pressure with, I mean, kind of an. Our father. The father is like extremes. emotionally day, abusive, really. He made us blood. Oh, okay, yeah, that's also other. abusive, so No attack. No attack's gonna Yeah. Understandably snap at some point. Gosh, I wonder how painful that must be. Your turn. No. I won't do it. Blood this is interesting to like that felt awful. I don't wanna see how Tarlock used to I never want to blood bend again. Tarlock had hoped to be a good a good man, you know. Stay okay. Away from him. How dare you blood bend me? Oh man, so he used to be like super defensive that? of oh. one. You also kinda create a monster here, you come. You always say blood bending is the most powerful thing in the world. But it isn't. The Avatar is. He took your bending away. What could be more powerful mm. than that? I made so he kinda maybe has the obsession to learn that. We're your sons, not your tools of revenge. But what about mom? We can't just leave her. He was right about you. You are a weakling. I guess Noah talk takes off. Noah yep. Talk. Don't leave, please. We thought he perished in that storm. My mother was never the same after the loss of this my poor brother. woman. She did nothing wrong. Just like with this. My father stopped training me. Depressing family story. Tarlac, how are you going to get to go off the deep end yourself? That's one of the saddest stories yeah, I've same. ever heard. Avatar Korra, I am truly sorry for all that I did to you. I thought I was better than my father, but I think Amon truly believes bending is the source of all evil in the world. I think world. he does believe that. That's what how makes him so dangerous. Amon is your brother. When he took my bending, the sensation was somehow familiar. But there's another way to beat him. How? This whole time, Amon has been one step ahead of us. But finally, we have the advantage. We expose him as a bender in front of all his supporters. At the rally. We could take away his true power. And undermine this whole revolution. Uh, you know what, Tarlock? I wish you the best and I wish you healing, man. Like Amon can't know anyone spoke with me. Defeat him. 
put an end to this sad all right Tarlock's all right came full circle kind of have a has a bit of a redemption arc I dig it he really is like one of the yeah I mean, he's not like my favorite person but he is really just one of the most interesting characters to me you know what what is this is this is the, this is the finale right end game what the heck this is gonna be an all in one mm, we're watching this whole thing end game just like the Avengers let's do it Go, let's go, let's go. I think we found our secret area. Hell yeah! Polar. We still got Once a single a second here. I need you to tear up those runways. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> General. General. Why would there be fence posts but no... Um, don't touch that! That'd be why. Great, this is a great start. Is this really the last episode? I'm pretty sure there's 12 per season, but... I mean... This is the rally, this is a big moment, so I guess we could wrap this up. I wonder what the plan is, how are we gonna expose this guy, you know? You know, that's that's just, that's just like the art of good storytelling, though. Like, these episodes are only 23 minutes, but like, honestly, so much happens, and yet at the same time, it doesn't feel rushed to me, you know? Thank you all for joining me on this historic It's about to be real historic. A firebender struck down my entire family and left me Is that really what happened? Is he just making this... Well, no, it's not what happened, because we know that he ran away. If Tarlac's telling the truth, we know that his father died, just kind of like a sad old man, and his mom probably went not much after that. So he must be making up. I just realized he's making up this whole story, and he's wearing the mask because he's pretending to be scarred. So even if they could take his mask off and reveal him, like... That's a lie. Oh, we just gonna go straight for it? Okay. Or should I call you Noah Talk? Let's hear what she has to say. Amon has been lying to you. The spirits didn't give him the power to take people's bending away. He uses blood bending to do it. Your family wasn't killed by a firebender. His father was Yakon, and his brother is Councilman Tarlock. But I will show you the truth. Okay, he still could have scars though. Okay. This is what okay. a firebender did to me. I'm are those scars? You, well, they probably are real scars, but like something else could have happened to them. believe me. I wouldn't leave yet, Avatar. You'll miss the main event. What the heck? Hmm. They did get away. Like, what the heck right. happened? We saw them get away. Asami. Oh, father. Asami, I know I have hurt you. Yeah, you want to help us out of here and sorry. not be a punk? But I believe that one day you will come to your senses. I am avenging her death. Yeah, she Airplane wouldn't want you to like Good. hurt thousands of people in the process. I intercepted your message to Commander Boom. Great. I know exactly. This is fantastic. Everybody's having a great day. Okay. Naga, over here. Yeah, I really want me a polar bear dog. A metal bender. I'm not gonna lie. We got Naga, yeah. <laughs> What are you gonna do, Asami? She's gonna do something cool. Just like a future. <sighs> Using dad's uh, technology for the win. I mean, of course, Iro has like mad, mad skills, you know, between being trained by Zuko and possibly Iro as well. Tonight, I rid the world of mm, air. That's bending. right. They are the last Forever. ones. Come on, let them go. The Avatar needs to be reminded of the power I possess. Oh, no, not the... Where are Pema and the baby? In prison. Chaefong? I don't know. Yeah, we still haven't found Lin, huh? Amon's just the most skilled. He's been skilled from a young age, so... Can we close the door? Can we lock that behind us, please? Get them out of here. I wonder if he can sense people, because since he blood bends, like, if he can sense, like, the water in their body or whatever. You know? Yeah. That's what I was saying. I bet he can sense when anybody approaches him. No! What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, uh, we're gonna get help from... The past? No? Oh damn, I didn't expect that to happen. 
I told you I would destroy you. Okay, but there's like four seasons, so like we gotta get we gotta fix this somehow, right? Like Uh where are we going? Okay, I mean better for us to jump and figure it out than to be in a exploding plane, but where are we, what are we doing here, bud? Oh that's right, I forgot he's got like rocket jet jet feet going on. Oh, we uh and then at least destroy the. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I wanted that to get to go. So. Thanks for looking out. Aww. For me. Naga's just the real MVP right now. Just like Appa, always coming in the clutch. Whoa! Thanks, Naga. Asami. This is it. Yep. Yep. Doing? We knew there had to be a. The very who took they the did not away. take. You don't feel love for yeah. home anymore. You're too that they didn't take away your wife. You These specific people child. did not take away your wife. But she's speaking truth, otherwise you wouldn't be trying to attack and go after your own daughter right now. I now see there is no oh my goodness, has he really gone off the deep end that much? Ah, she's about to kill her. Mr. Sato, you <laughs> oh, hey, Zara. Yeah, she didn't want to do it. She's not like you, sir. Asami's just gotta live with a lot. Like, the fact that, like, he was literally about to kill her and everything. Just saying that if Maka goes with Kor, Finally, we can put Bolin powerless. and Asami together. Everything the Avatar said is Oh, this guy's sus, okay. I just saw you blood mm. Oh, okay. You traitor. Oh, you about to get Yeah. You about to get it. <laughs> you about to get it. Okay, Core has to get her powers back somehow. You served me well, Lieutenant. I literally thought we were about to see his head explode or something, but I guess that would be a little bit too much for this particular show. Uh <sighs> Okay. Okay, go off, Mako! Man, he must be that upset about Kor. Ah, okay, I don't know. This is not the time for me to talk about relationships, so I'm just gonna hold that thought. Impossible. I was gonna say that's the first time she's done that. Yeah, but the only way he can get out of here is if he bends, right? Oh, that was his makeup? Okay, I thought maybe he got burned in a different way, but now everybody sees you for what you are. The scar's fake. The Avatar was telling the truth. I don't know, did we get him? Did we get him? I don't know, I don't know. Is he supposed to appear in another season? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry for what you I didn't to have to do anything. Our father set us on this path. We can start over together. Please, you're all I have left in the world. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like if they just kind of go off and. I can't believe Amon got you too. Hey, at least you unlocked your <laughs> airbending. You saved Republic City. But Amon got away. Yay! It's Uncle Boomy. It's just the Uncle Boomy. <laughs> I mean, if you give a kid a name like Boomy, I'm just saying. The two of us together again. No attack. I had almost forgotten the. It should be no attack again, and like find some kind of healing together. No? Oh, we can't have a happy ending, can we? Wow. Shit, is that the end? Damn. This is like, I seriously, it's like the adult version of Avatar. There's been so much serious stuff in here. I think more so than Avatar. Not that Avatar isn't serious, but... Hey, Korra. Katara. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna mix up their names forever. Everything in my power. But 
I cannot restore. But she can airbend, so that's hopeful, right? I'm not the avatar anymore. You don't need to do me any favors. I don't care if you're the avatar or not. When Tarlock took you, I was losing my mind at the thought of never seeing you. Are we gonna confess? Are we gonna confess feelings? Oh my goodness! Finally, okay. Now go have a talk with Asami. I can't. No, oh, boy. Tragic love drama for the next season, guys. Oh my god! That's the first time we've really seen her cry. Dang. You have finally <laughs> connected with your spiritual self. How? When we hit our lowest point, we are open to the greatest mm. change. Oh, that's so cool, all of them there. Okay, but is somebody gonna talk to Asai? She said, like, a. She said to have so much trauma. I love you too. Okay. Okay. I ship it, but, like, we gotta settle the other things next, next season. Oh, does that mean that she can do the thing? See, I wouldn't have cared, but I was really upset when Lynn lost her, her bending. I mean, it would have been tragic if anybody couldn't get it back, but especially her. Avatar Korra. It's so cinematic. The music, the visuals, everything is just so good in this show, guys. Oh my goodness. Why? Okay, next, this, that was the end of the season, right? Oh, we're not gonna even pretend to not look like we're crying. What? An emotional time? So that was the last two episodes of The Legend of Korra. That was the, the finale. And uh, it was just kind of a lock. It's just kind of so much. So I know that like people have said, like some of you guys have said that when they first made this show, they weren't sure if they're going to be able to have multiple seasons. So that's kind of like why I know for at least the first two seasons, it's an encapsulated story. If that was the only season to this show, I would not care because that was just fantastic and beautiful and emotional and epic. And see, I have to watch the whole show, don't I? But it is possible that I might actually end up liking this even more as Avatar, even, even more than Avatar. And Avatar was great, but like, I just felt such a really strong connection and emotional connection to this particular show, at least for the first season. Um, I mean, that was just, like, so much, like, when Lynn lost her bending last episode, but then, like, seeing it restored at the end, like, it would have been really tragic if there was no way to restore bending, but could have been realistic. Like, sometimes tragic things happen, you can't fix it. But I'm, like, I'm very satisfied that Lynn <laughs> has her bending back. Um, and Cora, I guess it makes sense that they had to resolve that by the end of this episode if they weren't sure how many seasons they were going to be able to have. But that was so cool at the end, you know, with Aang coming and being like, hey, like, you summoned me, you know? And, like, then seeing all of the the avatars behind behind him. That was that was a really, really, another really powerful moment. These last, like, three episodes were just powerful moment after powerful moment. Like, the whole thing with Tarlac and Noah, 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 Noah attack? Tarlac? Noah? I'm gonna call him Noah. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Noah. Tarlac and Noah and just... Gosh, what a tragic ending as well. Like, at the same time, he's a villain. So, like, maybe we needed to have, like, a, an ending to him. But at the same time, like, I would have accepted it if him and Tarlock were able to go off and just heal together and be together and start over again. Um, and we almost had that moment. And I actually would have been okay with it. But then I think Tarlock kind of, like, looked at those gloves and kind of realized it can't be that way. Even if he tries, Noah's still Noah. Like, he's going to go try to seize power somewhere else. It's never going to end. At least that's kind of how I interpreted it. It's like he just wanted it to be over. And just him just basically committing, like, you know, suicide and murdering his brother at the same time. Like, that was a powerful moment. Not that, again, not that Avatar wasn't serious and didn't have serious adult things in it. But I just feel like this one has felt even more grown up to me. Um, Isaac, I know you're editing this. I know the first time you watched this, like, many years ago, you didn't like it. I don't understand. 
how you can't love this season so much. And it's fine. Everybody to each their own. I know there are people that just really don't like this show. I can't be one of those people, though. I just think this is just the best, one of the best things I've seen. This is probably the best thing I've watched since Arcane, which not that I've watched loads of things in between there, but like... This this was very this was very high quality for me. If like I said, just taking just this season, we'll see how I, like, I feel about the other seasons. I know Isaac didn't like this one as much, but he's okay with season two. By contrast, Adam likes this season, but dislikes but dislikes season two. Um, so who knows? So I might just love everything, guys. I might just love everything. What good characters? Tarlock was just really. Oh, yeah, I can't say he's my favorite person or favorite character, but he was definitely one of the most interesting characters to me. And Amon is definitely one of the most interesting villains um, that I that we've had as well. <sighs> okay, well, that was just a lot. I need to go recover and stuff. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Happy watching, and oh my goodness, we'll look forward to seeing you in Season 2. <laughs>